Hello, everybody, and welcome to our first Wednesday kickoff for uh, the 2021 Winter into Spring FedEx program. I'm Samantha Hardin, and one of the many hats I wear is being the principal investigator of FedEx. FedEx is an eight-week fruit and vegetable and physical activity challenge. Um, right now we're partnering across the state of Virginia as well as with our partners across the state of Wyoming. So we have two states, multiple agents, multiple counties, and we're ready to go. One of the resources that we have um, that's unique and ready for this iteration is our Super Bowl Sunday FedEx challenge. I put the document on two pieces of, or two of them on one piece of paper so I can cut it in half and distribute it um, to anybody who's in my household during uh, Super Bowl Sunday for the football game. And I'm going to demonstrate each of the moves um, that are listed on the left side of the challenge. This is going to be recorded so you can come back to this anytime, whether it's football Sunday or not. And we're going to start with the more high intensity moves, get the blood pumping, get ready, and then we'll move into some of our strength training moves. Go at your pace, take what you like, leave the rest. So if I start doing something that you don't want to do, maybe you bust out a dance party or you do something um, completely different. And I just wanted to share, because I really love this inspirational quote, that when we break bread together and break a sweat together, we build community. So not only are we going to get moving right now, we're also going to have a healthy snack demonstration right when I'm done. And I'll kick it over to Denise. So let's get started. If you like, feel free to stand up, find some space. I'm going to try to use my watch to keep us on time and let's go. We're going to start with marching in place. So just lift one knee and then the other from the side. It might be low, so you might just tap and you can see my very cool socks. So we were talking about this before you can um, be dressed in whatever you like and just march it out. If you're looking for higher intensity, feel free to lift your feet completely off the earth, keeping those knees high, chest open. Keep breathing, we're going for a whole minute here. Maybe your heat is on and you're already sweating. I'm starting to get warm already. We're almost halfway there. Great demonstrations. Um, again, you can keep the high intensity. You can have a lower intensity march in place if you wanna incorporate your arms. That might find a kind of middle ground or you can continue to tap out. So. They're all the same and we've got 10 more seconds. Let's go. Our next move is a side step with arm raise. So step out to the side and lift your arms. Again, you can just lift out to the side and tap. So this would be step one. Or if you're looking for more, you can step tap side to side. If this is too intense, take the arms out or add those arms back in. We're here a whole minute, so do what feels good for you. Maybe right here feels nice, or maybe you wanna go lower and step wider. Your choice, we're more than halfway there. Keep breathing. Chest lifted, breath flowing. 10. I feel like when people count sometimes, it's the longest 10 seconds of your life. And we're good, hamstring curls. So you're bringing your heel close to your backside. Again, options might be just a slow lift up. Maybe you're holding on to the wall to bring the heel back. Maybe you're bouncing from side to side. Maybe you're adding arms to increase the intensity. Wherever you are, keep breathing, keep the chest lifted, maybe smile. Can you believe this is only a three minute warm up? I might not need my cardigan for the rest of this workout, but I gotta get through my first three moves. After these moves, we're gonna move into jumping jacks. We're almost there. Take it to your intensity. Maybe you don't have a lot of space, so stay within the range of motion that works for you. And three, two, one, jumping jacks. You can step out side to side for your jumping jack, step one. You can step out simultaneously for a higher intensity. Maybe you try half and half. I think we're already at seven. I couldn't even count. All right, seven jumping jacks. We're moving to squats now. Squats, your feet can be however you like. 
but keep them at least hip distance apart, maybe wider. Toes line up with the knees. So if you live in a body that your knees are facing out, just bring the toes out as well. The wider you are, the easier it'll be. And the deeper you go, the harder it'll be. Let's go for 20. Lift the chest, sink the hips down and up. The lower you go, the harder the move. Perhaps you're going low and narrow or low and wide. All are great options. If you want to increase the intensity, feel free to add some air in your moves for our final 10. So we'll do 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, last one. <coughs> Done. Hopefully don't, we don't have a lot of those during our football game. Our next move is lunges. We have on our list to do 10 lunges. We'll demonstrate five on one leg and five on the other. So standing kind of in the middle, you can step forward with your right foot and then bend your left knee. Five, four, three, two, Last one, use the momentum to launch up, step to the front, and then take it to the other side. Same as the other moves, the lower you go, the harder it is, and you can take it to your depth. That feels good for you. Last two. All right, lower body feeling it, heart feeling it. Options for push-ups. We suggest three push-ups. You can do push-ups on the wall coming against the wall, walking the feet out. We can all try three right at the wall if that feels good. And if you don't have a wall, feel free to go onto your knees and take three now. Come closer to the wall and press back. Arms can be wide out or close together. Do what feels good for you. Now we're getting a bonus, which I didn't even plan for. So that's a wall push up. You can do that anytime. We'll also, demonstrate what push-ups look like from the knees, and then I'll see if I can do them off my knees. So for your push-up, bring your hands wide, walk your knees behind your hips. So often, if you've heard of tabletop, the hips are over the knees. If you walk the knees back, you're now engaging the low belly a little bit more. Arms wide, spine strong, go as low as feels good for you, Tuck the toes, press. Only one more, you've got this. All right, if you're looking for more, feel free to try three push-ups on the tops of your toes or with your feet flexed. Um, maybe by the time I'm done uh, describing that, you're done with yours. So just lifting through the low belly, tucking the toes. That's not available for me in my practice today. So while you're doing it, awesome, great, Glenn. Um, you feel free to do it and I'm gonna towel off and take a sip of water. <clears throat> All right, so it said three, but we got nine or some of us did. All right, back down, plank. So option, again, hips are in front of the knees. So walk the knees forward for your plank. We're gonna hold for 30 seconds. So option is just to lift through low belly and press the mat away. So pressing in between the shoulder blades, you're already in the posture. For those going to the full posture, we're gonna lift our knees, press the heels back, keep the hips low. So shoulders high, hips low. Lift through the low belly and breathe. Press into the finger pads, you're halfway there. Can you believe? This is just a little bit of heating up. Breaking bread, breaking a sweat. And three, two, one, release your knees, press your hips back and come to a seated position. Maybe taking a breath or two, toweling off, finding what works for you. And our final move is 10 crunches. 
So you can do these however feels good for you. You can also just take a 30 second Navasana or boat pose. So lifting the chest, lifting the hips. If you're in a chair, you can hold that here as well. If you'd like to come all the way down onto the back, let the back body greet the earth. Might be on a mat, concrete, carpet, wood. Land there, walk the heels in towards the hips where your fingertips might be able to touch the heels. Hands behind the head, elbows wing out, and then lift the chest, neck, and squeeze in the low belly and come back down. We've got nine more. So try to keep the neck neutral. Sometimes when we're aiming for a full crunch, we do this with our neck. So we're using the weight of our head rather than the strength of our belly. We're halfway there. Let's go for five, four, breathing, almost done. Last one, slowly release, let the elbows flop out, bring the knees into the chest, give yourself a little hug, maybe rock side to side. Let the little triangle or sacrum at the base of your spine rock. Maybe using momentum to rock up, or if that's not there for you today, just coming over onto one side and pressing back up, and we did it. So we'll see how many of each of these we have to do or are invited to do during Super Bowl Sunday. So I'm really hoping for more touchdowns, um, which is our seven jumping jacks, then I'm looking forward to, I mean, I'd rather march in place than do lunges or push-ups for sure. So maybe add on the Facebook page, um, which exercise you prefer to do the most. Remember just to do anything with enthusiasm and a smile and encourage um, you to stay within your range of motion and what feels good for you on that day. Thanks for joining. And I'm gonna turn it over to Denise for a healthy snack. Well, um, hello everybody. And today we're not actually um, going to prepare a snack. We're gonna talk a little bit about maybe some snacking options for Super Bowl Sunday because usually Super Bowl Sunday is a, is a time when we all get out all our good, fattening, um, sweet, special treats and spend the afternoon and evening just eating. And so on our little flyer that Samantha referred to for the exercises, we've put some snack ideas in there, um, different things that maybe are a little more healthy for us to be snacking on for several hours. And um, so kind of some of the things that we thought about um, were maybe fruit trays, pretty veggie trays, some cheese and salami and cracker trays, and kind of um, some healthy dips maybe for your fruits and veggies, um, maybe infused water um, instead of lots of big um, tubs full of ice cold pop or ice cold beer, um, some infused water with maybe some oranges, lime slices, cucumbers, some berries, whatever your combination might be. Um, yesterday we did a Facebook Live for um, American Heart Month and did a, a tropical blueberry smoothie. But we got to thinking um, what would be fun for Super Bowl is set up a smoothie bar and um, just have all sorts of things that you could mix into your smoothie and let each person at your party make their own smoothie to what they like, whether it be berries or spinach. Um, yesterday, ours had pineapple, bananas, blueberries. So you could mix and match lots of different things, yogurts, um, and make, make everybody get up again and wander over to the refreshment table and make their own refreshments. Kind of the newest um, party food that I've seen lots of um, 
advertisements for and I got we got the idea from Iowa State Extension was party boards and this kind of combines um, a fruit tray vegetable tray meat and cracker tray with such things as nuts uh, dips all arranged on a beautiful um, big tray so you can kind of mix and match so we put lots of ideas on your Super Bowl paper here and um, nuts are another really, really good high protein source. And um, some of them are a little more fattening, but don't have all the extra sugar and those kind of things that a lot of us need to avoid. So um, the one thing that we're encouraging everybody to do is take a picture of your refreshment tray or your refreshment table and post it to the Facebook page so we can see what everybody ate for the day or post some pictures of you guys doing exercises, whether it's during the fumble or the kickoff or whatever. And again, post those. And as Samantha said, that helps build our FitX community and gets everybody involved. The other thing is you may have some people in your home that really could care less about the Super Bowl. So maybe you, you need to figure out some activities that um, are physical activities that they could do, whether it's during the entire game or during halftime, you could all go outside. We aren't supposed to have enough snow here, but maybe you will be in Virginia to like build a snowman or pay, play fox and geese, or if it's nice enough, maybe have a tag football game or go on a hike around your neighborhood. Um, if you do have snow, maybe it's snowed enough during the first half, you can shovel some snow, um, have a snowball fight, those kind of things. So we just hope Super Bowl will be a fun day for everyone. Um, healthy day, doing lots of physical activity, and also eating very healthily. So we will start next week with a snack. We're going to do a quick and easy um, Valentine snack that's healthy. And I'm not sure who's doing the exercise, what that will be, but we look forward to every week getting together with everybody and getting to know everybody a little more. And so you can choose to join um, us live on Facebook each Wednesday at 1.30 Mountain Standard Time or 3.30 Eastern Time. Um, or you can jump on the Zoom with us if you would like to be able to interact and ask questions or just see everybody that else is on. Um, so we hope you'll join us and we will see you guys in a week. Um, the one thing is Aaron will be posting this again on Facebook, the Super Bowl challenge so that you can have these, like Samantha said, at your party to hand out to your guests or to um, just have for yourself. And these would be really good um, exercises to adapt to other programs that you watch. If you're come home from work at night and sit on the couch like I often do, um, you could adapt this into doing some of them during every advertisement or, so if this isn't just for Super Bowl Sunday, we'll hope you can utilize it throughout FedEx this session. And if, if you do have questions on getting signed up, um, please be sure to contact your educator in your county or in your state. And, and feel free to send a message to the FedEx Facebook page and we will direct you to whoever um, is your educator and get you in touch that way and we'll get you signed up, so. And the other thing we'd like to thank Morgan for getting our all our jotted down notes in a much prettier um, <laughs> format than we sent them to her. So thanks, Morgan. And again, um, that's all we have, Samantha. 
Wonderful. Thank you so much. And I love the idea of letting these exercises last outside of the big game and um, using them during some of my other sedentary time when I'm binge watching whatever is on the TV next. So thank you for the inspiration. Thank you for being here. As was mentioned, if you're not here with us live, feel free to add any questions, particularly on the Facebook page. We're really trying to drive more of the conversation there so that you can interact with the hundreds of people that are participating this time too. Thanks and we'll see you soon. Okay, see you next Wednesday, everybody.